Hello YouTube and welcome to Sweet and Sour Productions second Wi-Fi battle. This time this one's against Silver Hamu, aka Blackie. And this is just a normal six on six, no restrictions, black and white battle. And without further ado, let's cut on with it. So this is Blackie leading off of her gold duck and I lead off my infernate. Uh, I just want to quick say sorry that I haven't sped up this video. I haven't had time to do it, but hopefully you'll still enjoy it. Uh, this gold duck caused me quite <coughs> a few problems during this match. If I go for the fake out, I thought that I'd be quicker than it and it can't do anything to me, so I was in gosh for the first combat. And then it is Choice Scarf. Uber face palm and I was like, no, I love my infernal apes. Well, unfortunately, Donkey Kong's gone down, so the show must go on. So no one has choice scoffed, I sent in my cloister, even to wall that surf. Most likely for her to switch out as she sees. And on the switch, I go with my Shell Smash. Uh, I think that Shell Smash Cloister is by far one of the best Pokemon in the OE set at the moment. And as you can see later, he does quite a bit of damage. Um, me and Shao is going to go with the normal fake out as you see now and because of the one defense drop there's a quite a hefty amount of damage but it's okay so me and Shao switches out into her Unicus, the little blob and I go for the icicle sphere um, I'm thinking that this won't kill her in one hit, but since she switched in, I'll get an extra set of attacks against her. But this crit, where some say it might have mattered, don't think so, because I would have gone first next turn and I would have finished her off. And uh, all is good. So, Blackie sends out her Nine Tails, which I think actually Ludwig 14 if I get my Roman numerals correct. It's a very cool nickname. Um, I go for a dive because I didn't have a spare hot scale to go and get my razor shell because I imported this over from my gold. And um, I went for a dive and I know it's a stupid idea. I forgot the sun was up. I was thinking, yeah, I'm going to sweep. I'm going to kill it one hit. And then this happened, and I was just like, oh, this just ruined my chance. So, major mistake number one. Oh. Unfortunately, I was running the Rock Blast on my Cloister. Should have gone for it, but I went for a dive because I didn't want to miss, because me and Rock Blast just do not have a good relationship at the moment. So I got to my Zapdos, uh, predicting the switch, I go for my agility right now. So if I'm not mistaken, that Minetric has lightning rods, so she probably switched in predicting a T-Bolt. And thanks to that Ninetales' drought ability, my heat wave is now super powered, <laughs> and takes out that Minetric in one hit. Because if I'm not mistaken, most Manetrics nowadays are Choice Scarfs or Spect. So, I was thinking, got to sweep again, but this Petilli in the sun, not Petilli, sorry, Lilligant turns out to be a lot, not a lot, but just about quicker than my Zapdos. Um, she switches out into her Yen Shao again, uh, probably going for the Stone Edge next turn. So I switch out, because I don't want to lose my Zapdos, because from seeing her team beforehand, Zapdos pretty much can take out quite a few in her team with the plus one agility. So I go out to my Tyranitar and take the Stone Edge, which does do quite a bit of damage. But unfortunately my Tyranitar, I am uh, max HP, max attack. So, fearing the high jump kick, I do a double switch into my, oh, my Gligar. 
<coughs> this is by far one of my favourite Pokemon now. He's helped me out in quite a few situations, and in this instance, you'll see, this is a bit of an original moveset I've come up with myself. So, um, here we go. Shall we use the U-turn to switch out, obviously. It's not really going to do a lot against my, um, my Gliver, which has got quite decent base defences, and as it's running the Evolution Stone, um, it's been elevated quite a bit. So the cool dot comes in, and that cloud nine gets rid of my sandstorm, which makes my Gligar's ability useless. Um, I went for the sandstorm because I have a stall set on him, running sandstorm, uh, toxic, roost, and knockoff. But now that there's an ice beam coming from my face, and I definitely want survival tons for damage, I go to my Tyranitar. But without the sandstorm up, uh, I take quite a bit, unfortunately. Well, not too bad. Um, she sends out her Petunia, which is the Lilligant, and I, I go for the Crunch, knowing that I can pretty much do a lot of damage to anything that comes in. And um, I pretty much expected my chance not to kill her, because I've got a Lilligant on myself, and it, it can be pretty beefy. So, um, obviously it's a bit of a stupid idea to keep this Tyranitar out against the Lilligant. So I switch out into my Zapdos, because um, I'm thinking that this is just a standard set with Quiver Dance, uh, Giga Drain, Dream Eater and Sea Powder. Um, I come and attack a few hits. I'm actually uh, doing this to do a double switch. So when she uses her Dream Eater, which, which I was hoping she had, I could switch it to something which is not sleeping, hence not do the damage. So, uh, here she does go for a Dream Eater. I decided to stay in for one or two, match, one or two turns, just so I could cement her into Dream Eater. So, after the, uh, the, whole, boring, um, the whole boring animation of the leftovers and, oh, my Citrus Berry, yep. I now switch out into my guard chomp. I do have to say, using guard chomp quite a bit, he should go back to oh, he should go back to Uber because the amount of times where I battled on the random system and fought a guard chomp, and the sand bell hacks is just not cool. I know once in my ambipom I missed a fake out and two double hits in a row. So how much? Just, you are a cool guard chomp, but please go back to Uber, because you're making this game really unfair. So, I'm um, back to the match in hand. This is actually a misclick. I did not want to do the outrage, because now I'm locked into outrage. I was scared that this gold duck was going to come back in and ice beam me. But, maybe Blackie was thinking I was choice scoffed. That's why she probably didn't do it. And I was thinking, whew, thank God. So, um... Here, I'm, here you actually find out I'm actually lumberried, so I was let off quite nicely here. Um, I was hoping that Blackie would probably over predict me and go for something like a Stone Edge, but no, she does well here, fair plays, and she kills my Garchomp. Fortunately, Garchomp did not do anywhere near as good as it normally does or should do, but I think that's partly down to my fault. Um, I send back in my Gligar to hopefully stall, stall out this Mian Chao to some extent. But she Yu turns out uh, to get her HP back from the Regenerator ability, and she sends in her Nine Tails. So here comes more Sun, getting rid of my Sandstorm, unfortunately. And um, I go for the Roost on the Switch to get my HP back. And meanwhile, Ninetales gets her left, his left always back. Um, this is quite a funny double miss here, going for the Will O Wisp, uh, and me missing my Santu. Uh, next turn, we both go for it again, and I believe we both hit hit number one, and.
and hit number two. There we go. But because of the burn, my sand team doesn't do anywhere near enough damage. Because I know that nine tails is defensively not great. So now he's yeah. Now that nine tails is now locked in. Um, this turn I go for. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Night House goes first with a fame flower. And uh, I go with my Toxic. And I didn't expect my Dry God to take that fame flower so nicely, to be honest. Because my spread on this was max HP. And the rest was split uh, into defense and special defense with more going to special defense. But I was expecting that to do quite a bit more damage than it did. So. All was good there, all was good. Um, Night Tales goes for another fame thrower, and I'm hoping that I just about survive in order to get my roost off, and which I do. And unfortunately, the next couple of turns is, next two or three turns is just me stalling out of roost. Um, if you're getting tired at this point, I apologize for not being able to uh, speed up the video. Uh, hopefully, the next few ones will be. But just to let you know, there's only about four, no, five, six turns left in this match. So, yeah. This, um, the Nine Tails goes for another flamethrower. So, as my friend Sal would say, wash and repeat, I think. Uh, one of his numerous not funny jokes. <laughs> so, another roost brings you back up to about 50% HP. And there's another flame. Oh, not another flame fire, sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, the Nine Tails finally goes down to Poison and the Sand, and the sand Tomb. And that's goodbye, Nine Tails. At last. Okay. So now, here, which is now where the battle started getting really intense. The gold dart comes in, and I switch out, hoping that she'll predict me to predict her, to predict me to switch. So I'm hoping she went for our oh, I just so confused myself just there. But um, put it this way, I tried to predict her to over predict. Uh, I over predicted. She did go for the ice beam, and my Zapdos is dead. Um, I go to the Mr. T, knowing that she's stuck into ice beams. And um, I'm hoping her to switch because I'm predicting her to switch into probably the Mian Shao. And subsequently, I go for the substitute because I'm running the sub punching Mr. T. Because I pity the fool. I pity him. Sorry, that just ignored a really bad joke right there. <laughs> but um, with the sub up, um, I'm going for the focus punch. And unfortunately, this was a massive game changer. Um, Yuen Shao misses. That, um, I have to admit that did matter because if she hit, the sub would have gone. Um, the Gold Duck was free to come in and surf the rest of my team away. Um, I'm pretty sure Blackish might have won. It's debatable whether whether um, the gold up would have killed me in one surf. It probably could have, because it's a stab. And gold up's special attack is pretty decent, but we'll, never, we'll have to see. It's quite a shame. So this is the last move, the focus punch straight into its face. And um, that's it. Good game, Blackie. Or Hamu or Silver Hamu, whichever you like to be known as. So um, please like, subscribe, comment, do all the normal stuff, and um, thanks for watching.